I started watching The Office. I had never watched The Office before. Maybe had seen it, like, flipping through episodes, but it was uh, flipping through channels or something once upon a time, but it was never something that I saw. I always knew it was a popular show, but I didn't know, like, the difference between, like, the British version and the American version and Steve Carell and Ricky Gervais and, I don't know, it was just, like, a whole world that I chose to, like, opt out of. And speaking to some coworkers, they were telling me that I had to watch it. I had to check it out uh, just to watch, like, the first couple episodes in uh, of the first season. And that I would appreciate it just uh, being that I, I work at an office. Um, they were, like, you, you'll you always draw parallels between, like, the characters in the show and, like, people that we work with and stuff like that. So just on that strength, uh, I, I figured I, I'd give it a whirl. And um, they're half-hour episodes, so it's, like, 20-something minutes each episode. And it, they're all on Netflix. You can stream them. And what I do is I save those for, like, the train ride home from work, which is, like, an hour you know 45 minutes to an hour um hour and a half you know depending i like uh watch like an episode or an episode and a half on the way home and i've seen um the first two seasons completely and like the first season i think was only like eight episodes or something like that second season that is a lot it has like 15 16 episodes or 18 or something like that and um like a handful of episodes into the third season and it's true it's really funny um really well done it's like the second show i think that used like that first that like um what's it called like single camera type of uh, approach to sitcom and you know like speaking into the camera speaking to the camera you know like breaking the fourth wall uh, I, I believe The Office, uh, the British version, was the, the first. And then this and set the precedent. And uh, this show, the American version of The Office, was the second. And then, you know, you have current shows like Modern Family and stuff like that that follow, follow the same format now. But they broke the mold of the, of the three-camera uh, sitcom, uh, which is pretty cool. And it's really funny. You have a, a lot of, you know, known actors which blew up from from that series like uh steve carell obviously and you have ed helms who's in it patrice o'neill was in it craig robinson also you hear my little guy in the background he's uh jumping up and down in his little like bouncy thing uh baby einstein like bouncy chair thing just got home a bit ago with mommy um but yeah it's a it's an entertaining watch uh one of my coworkers said that it's a like the type of show that you know he loved and now it's like uh a show that if it's on like it, it's something that he like playing the background while he's doing something else type of thing similar to like uh for me like seinfeld is like that like i could always like leave seinfeld on uh like on the tv if it's on like any rerun or whatever and while i'm doing something else and um uh, i still appreciate it and the show is really good, man. I'm glad I, I decided to, or they, they talked me into uh, giving it a shot. And, um, like, I see it now, like, on TV, like, reruns now. On TV, it's, like, season eight rerun. And I'm like, holy shit. And then, like, I'll switch it on just to get, like, for five minutes to, like, kind of see. Because I'm not really worried about, like, spoilers or anything like that. Um, You know, it's, like, half-hour comedies. It's not, like, that type of of like drama that you're like deep into and you're worried about spoilers but um it's interesting to see like the iterations like in in the future that await me you know if you will or the seasons in the future rather uh the way they like unraveled say something there you go say something else five months old the youngest podcaster ever say that like this one today podcast I'll, I'll take that as a yes that means you love it right maybe he's not a fan is it feeding time or do you want to do more podcasting 
I'm guessing feeding time. Okay, buddy. But yeah, it's a funny series, and I will probably revisit it sometime in the future in terms of uh, speaking to you guys about it once I'm deeper into the the show. Right now, I just passed the the part where Jim actually told Pam that he loves her, which I didn't expect at the end of season two. And then uh, once he got shut down, she wound up like leaving, and uh, he wound up leaving and going to. Uh, the other office branch, but I thought it was going to be like a, like a Seinfeld and Elaine, like a Jerry and Elaine type of, uh, relationship where the romantic drama gets like the suspense for it builds up and keeps, uh, continually getting like drummed up and, but never really happens. And I took the opposite approach in the office and, um, Jim kind of put his words hard on his sleeve and went for it. At the end of the second season. Uh, that was interesting. And uh, then he moved away. And then the other office wound up getting shut down. So he had to move back. And that's pretty much where I'm at with the show right now. So now it's the introduction of like that new cast of characters. And um, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. But yeah, it's definitely a funny show. This definitely parallels that, you, you, that I've drawn from my coworkers. And I'm sure it's like... A, they wrote it in a way that traits of certain characters are general enough that you can apply them to different people that you work with or that you know that you're around, especially, you know, being that it's in an office setting. <clears throat> it's probably more applicable to to people that work in like a corporate or whatever type of environment, office type of environment. 